Good, happy Thursday evening. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast, right here on the Riley King Network. Let's get started. First up, AG rules troopers' uses of force justified in fatal Hampton shooting. New Hampshire Attorney General Gordon McDonald announced Thursday that the troopers' use of deadly force in a June shooting was justified. State Police Sergeant Keith Walker and Trooper Eric Willett shot and killed Barry Jones, 36, of Portsmouth during a confrontation at the state liquor store along Interstate 95 in Hampton, following reports that Jones was drunk, had stolen a pickup truck, and threatened someone with a gun. An autopsy showed Jones was shot multiple times. Mother Teen tied up in armed home invasion, police say. A mother and a teenager were tied up during a armed home invasion in Randolph on Thursday. Randolph Police Chief William Pace said officers received a report of an armed home invasion on Highland Avenue just before 10 a.m. Thursday. The woman, who is in her 20s, was taking care of her three children, ages 3, 5, and 17. When three men entered the house demanding money, police said the woman and 17-year-old were bound while the suspects ransacked. The house police said. One assaultant is described as Vietnamese in his early 20s wearing gray sweatpants and a red and white striped shirt. The other two men were both described as Hispanic in their early to mid 20s with arm tattoos wearing plain white t shirts and sweatpants. One of the men had a knife, police said. Police said no injuries were reported, but a gold chain was stolen during the incident. LePage might change his mind on Senate run. Let's take a listen to this video from WMTW News 8 in Maine. Paul Page could be rethinking his decision not to run for U.S. Senate. On WGAM today, he said it's still a possibility. I'm going to watch what Eric Brakey's doing, and if he doesn't start resonating pretty quick, uh, there's a possibility I might change my mind. Yes, yeah, so not out of the question. LePage originally announced in May that he wasn't going to challenge Angus King for his Senate seat. Okay, and there you go on that report. Now let's take a look at your stock market and see how your stock market closed for this evening. Your Dow Joe Industrial Average closed in the red and went down. Your S&P 500 Index closed in the red and went down. Your NASDAQ closed in the green and went up. RUSS 2K closed in the green and went up. And VIX closed in the red and went down. NASDAQ post 
10-day win streak since February 2015. U.S. stocks closed narrowly mixed near record levels Thursday as earnings season got underway, aimed renewed uncertainty about the Trump administration's ability to implement its pro-growth proposals. And there you go on that report. O.J. Simpson granted parole for Las Vegas robbery. Let's take a listen to this video from ABC News. The roles you play in life are part of what make you, you. And you're not going to let anything keep you sidelined. That's why you drink Ensure with nutritious calories, 9 grams of protein, and 26 vitamins and minerals. Giving you the strength and energy to get back to doing what you love. From the number one doctor recommended brand, Ensure, always be you. Mr. Simpson, I do vote to grant parole when eligible, and that will conclude this hearing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Unanimous by the Nevada Board of Parole Commissioners. An emotional O.J. Simpson will go free on October 1st. like he was signaling to his friend Bruce Vermont there that he'd be getting a call, perhaps his daughter. Okay, and there you go on that video of him getting his parole granted. O.J. Simpson has been granted parole since nine years in prison for a Las Vegas robbery. A group of four Nevada commissioners decided today that in imprisoned former NFL player could be released as early as October 1st. And that does it for the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Thursday night. Good night, everyone. Bye.